Well, this is certainly better than sleeping on the floor. Though, isn't anything. I suppose we don't have very high standards anymore after all of that camping. Still, it'll do. Ah, uh, sorry, darling. Lost in thought. I suppose I should just be grateful to even be alive to have a bed at all to sleep in. <laughs> to be able to sleep once more. <laughs> It's just... <sighs> you always know when I'm just... <laughs> pretending as though everything's fine. Though I suppose it doesn't take a genius to understand that I'm not fine. Given... I just... <sighs> And did two centuries worth of abuse. <laughs> He's gone. I... killed him. And if you hadn't been there... I would have become a monster just like him. Continuing on the cycle of abuse and power. But you... You believed I was enough. Exactly as I am. That I didn't need to ascend. Didn't need his power. In order to be worth something. Or in order to feel safe. And if I had ascended, I dread to think what I could have done to you. <laughs> Vampires, they. they can't love. The soul corrupts beyond being able to feel anything good. There would be no... fixing me then. I'd be lost. I do appreciate her. <laughs> Us... Taking a bath first. I certainly needed it. And you. Taking care of me. Bathing me. Showing me that I can be touched. Without being used. Or without using someone else. That there are intimate acts that aren't just... Sex. It will take some getting used to. Well, it was nice. It's going to take some time getting used to the fact that I'm free now. I don't belong to anyone anymore. Although... I would like you to have me. But not in... Not as a possession. And I don't want you as that either. Nor just a bit of fun.
I love you. Not just because I would not be here if it wasn't for you, though I am grateful. I've never met anyone with a heart as big as yours. I truly care. I think that's quite a novel thing in this world. I suppose I should try and relax now. Oh, I know. I think some sleep would be <laughs> good, but... Would the nightmares be gone, or would they be better? <laughs> Does my subconscious know that he's gone? I'm really not sure. <laughs> Though I know with you by my side, I'm sure I can brave anything. Surely you'd think this would be the most peaceful sleep I'm ever to have. Knowing that he can't take me back. He can't come and find me, or hire anyone else to. He's just... gone. Not exactly sure I know how to relax when it's not through certain means. I <laughs> I'm not used to people asking if they can touch me. And I know I need to. I know I can say no. If I don't want you to. And you won't get offended. Or upset at me, or think it means I don't want you anymore. Because it doesn't. And regardless. You can touch me. Not in certain places, <laughs> not exactly in the mood. Unusual for me, perhaps, but... <laughs> or not so unusual. Just unusual that I can admit it. My face? Yes. Your hands are warm. <sighs> I really don't want to cry again. My face going all red. Dehydrates, you know. I can't have my skin looking dehydrated. <laughs>
Nice. No. <sighs> Shall we go to bed? I don't know if I'm ready, but I do feel exhausted. <laughs> I suppose it's only natural, I suppose. My mind's been through a lot this last 200 years. <laughs> I haven't ever been able to sleep and truly rest since before I can remember. To be able to go to sleep, I know that nothing's going to wake me up. Well, all. I'm not going to be woken up in the middle of the night, told to go and hunt some poor soul, or woken up simply to be punished for something. I did or didn't do, just for his entertainment. I might sleep for an entire day, or week. You know, I'm thinking about things I never thought I would care about. I've been looking out for myself for so long, but I find the thought coming to my head that I hope the spawn. I hope they learn to hunt. Animals. <laughs> I hope they can rebuild the life I stole from them. <laughs> I did. I know I didn't have a choice. Literally. <laughs> Having the excuse of literally having no choice, as in, not just that I was threatened, which I was, but I could say yes, or I could say no, and he would just control my body and my mouth, and I'd do it. And it's so different from if I was just brainwashed, because I was aware every time. That I was not in control of my own body. That I could not say no. Not just because I felt threatened and scared. But because he had this magical hold over me. I'm not sure it makes it easier. <laughs> I just have to keep telling myself it was Casador doing those things. But it's my face they probably all have nightmares about. <sighs> I think I wouldn't like to dwell on this. Sorry if that's a downer. 
I suppose a lot of my life is. But then I suppose I'm not the only one. As we've discovered, after everything the whole band of us have been through. You might have to drag me into that bed. I don't mean... I simply mean... As much as I... Want to rest. I do find myself nervous. Rest sounds delightful. I sit on the bed. No, I... I do. I trust you. Isn't that odd? <laughs> I've never trusted anyone in my life. Not even myself, really. I couldn't. Not when his control could come back at any time. But it's not just me looking out for me anymore. It's both of us. Looking out for each other. It's all right. Well said. Why? Uh, darling, I... Oh! <laughs> You're taking my shoes off. Right, no, of course. Why else would you be kneeling down there? <clears throat> May I ask why? You want me to relax? Not have to do anything? You want to... to... To take care of me. What if it's rotten work? <laughs> well, I... I quite like taking care of you. So... So it's fine. I don't like the idea of being spoiled. I do deserve that, don't I? <laughs> Under the covers now, is it? You are joining me, yes. I know you don't... I know I don't have to want you to join me. I want you to. I... don't want to wake up alone. You are good at warming a bed up.
Even though I was always surrounded by so many people, on the spawn, or you know, my targets, if you will, I always felt alone. The amount of times I tried praying, no one ever answered. No one ever came to help me, even gave me any kind words. So I didn't have any faith or any hope. And who'd have thought, getting kidnapped by a bunch of octopus-faced men was the key to my escape. <laughs> I could not have imagined such a thing. But here we are. I felt guilty. I, I feel guilty about a lot of things, but... When I was up there, during the um, ritual, I wanted to be scared for you, and I was. You stood down there with him. Could have snapped you like a twig. And yet, all my mind was plagued with was fear for myself. And I... It's not that I didn't care what happened to you, I... I just, I, I couldn't go back there. I... I'd have rather been killed by him and then be back under his control. Well, I... You're not mad. Well, not mad, but... I was worried that it would seem like I didn't care enough, or perhaps meant that I didn't care enough. I'm new to this, to having, not feelings, I, I'm sure there were people I were attached to before Casador got his hands on me, but I don't remember any of them. I must have had a family, I suppose. But... Hmm. I didn't get attached to my so-called siblings. What would be the point? He could kill any of us. He did kill some of them. So what? I get attached, give myself false hope, make a friend. I think if any of us had become friends, that would have just made him want to cast more. Just as a way to hurt us. If I had befriended anyone, then he had another way to hurt me. By threatening to hurt them.
caring was a weakness, not because the emotion of caring was such, but that opened me up to having extra weaknesses. <sighs> that now I have you. <laughs> And the others, who, as I am to admit it, in some cases, or in Gail's case, I have made friends. <laughs> and you. Is so much more. Not that it makes the others lesser. I. This is new. Now, I suppose also, as we're trying to get to sleep, is not the time for me to be getting existential about what different types of attraction means to me and how I experience them. Not exactly light pillow talk, is it? Right, that's it. I am declaring that now we, or I, am going to try and sleep. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you. <sighs> oh, that was a genuine piece of praise. For what? Going to sleep? Well, I... Um, no, I, I'm not comfortable with it. I suppose I'm just not used to getting praised for anything, let alone... Well, for my looks, of course, but not for... Actions. Certainly not sleeping. You think it's good that I'm taking care of myself? Uh, I, well, um... Then perhaps, if you're so pleased with me, you could allow... Well, and... <laughs> Don't misconstrue anything, I'm not cuddly. But if if you wanted <sighs> must I say it <sighs> I would like it if we were intertwined, as it were. If I could be held. You heard me. No, no, if I have to repeat myself, then you can forget it. Oh, so you did hear me. You're not very good at lying, either. Or at least, not to me. I don't know if that's because I'm better at seeing through you. Whatever. <sighs> Shall we, then? If you, well, if I were to move,
So warm. You do heat the bed up. I will say, you make a rather good pillow. <laughs> One of your many talents, I presume. <laughs> hmm. I know I'm tense. I... Sorry. I... I know I'm safe now. We are safe. The others are safe in their own rooms. I just have to keep telling myself that. Do you think... Well... My life before Casador... Before he stole it... I don't remember any of it. Perhaps my mind thought it would hurt less if I couldn't remember things better than where I was. Didn't work, of course. Everything hurt all the same. But... The fact that all of that feels so long ago, well, it was, but... <sighs> Do you think that, perhaps... In another 200 years, all of this. Not you, I mean, my time spent with Casador, or under his thumb. Do you think that might begin to fade? I don't think I'll ever forget the feelings, I'm not sure that's how. What did you call it? Trauma works. But <laughs> some of the details, some of it might fade. I'm 
probably just rambling nonsense. It's a thought. I don't think I'll ever be able to forget his face. I suppose what I can hope is that we will make new memories to replace them. If you're up for the challenge.
I suppose we're both pretty tired. Must be a lot for you as well. You've got all of your own issues going off and then mine to deal with. Well, that's. <laughs> it's sweet that you don't mind. I, I certainly don't wish to. Hmm. No! I... <sighs> Perhaps I was going to say a bit. I know, I know. So you've said. Hmm. I suppose that's what you do with it, is it? When you love someone. You don't beget them their troubles. As long as I'm not. I want to tell you about them. What you must tell me when you're not mentally able to take it. I know what I've been through is a lot, even though to me I'm almost numb to it. At least numb to how unusual I suppose it all is. But if you ever need a break from me talking about it, that is what I mean. I don't want to. Trigger. I'm allowed to say no to things, and so are you. I mean, if I'm crying my eyes out, of course. I would like you to comfort me, but if I'm making self deprecating jokes, do tell me to stop. I know you don't like them. No, not good for me, apparently. Which I don't really understand, but I trust your judgement, so... Sometimes. I mean... Sometimes you're... Accidentally... Blasting me with a fireball and then, you know... No, I understand that it was an accident, but perhaps you should have thought about what direction it was going to go in and how... Not far away, I was stored. You know, so your judgment on is a starion far enough away to not get hit with this blast? That I'm not sure that I trust. But you have. Other wisdoms, I suppose.
Yes, you can stroke my head. It feels nice. Don't. Uh, no kisses. Please. If that's. <clears throat> No, I know you'll say it's alright. I'm just... I know kissing isn't inherently sexual, I just... I'd rather not, right now. After all that, just... Just hold me. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
Thank you all so much for watching, my lovelies. A reminder that custom audio and art commissions are currently open. I have two separate Ko-Fi's, you can find them both listed below. I also have a Patreon. If everyone who subscribed to me gave me just £1 a month, that would help me out a lot, allow me to move out and keep making all of this. Rewards of being a patron of mine include access to my Discord, your name read aloud in the credits, and two exclusive spicy videos every month, with at least one of them picked from your requests, if you join the top fledgling tier. I also stream on Twitch a couple times a week, and I have an Etsy shop where I sell fan art and original art. A thank you to my patrons, my fledglings, 
Phoenix, Andy Christ, 3 in 1 Shampoo, Silla Moon, The Lucio Archive, Sassy NK, Silco Altera, Razley D, Fruit Island, Liam, Xiao, Nesquik, Fluffy Dino, Nerd Murder, Arthur, Food Crimes and Fire, Rice Puffs, Atis, Ruby, Wraith, Carry On, Livia Nesuto, Eero Nutty, Persephone, Astoresh, Delmo, Psyche, Percy, Kudo, Hell, The Solar Six, Tiffany Boyer, Void, Aspen, Spider, River Heights Puff, Arbitrary Descriptivism, Fashion Beauty, Lydia Perez, Joanna Cole, Roses and Blue, Ray Cartz, Indrid, Roy Winters, Emily, Sweet Jade, A, Tisness, Arcane, M, Nicole, Secure Me, Zorn Envy, 675309, Goth Muppet, Pumpkin Pie 23, Nicole Thompson, Delilah, Valkyrie Ace, Despair, Caitlin Mitchell, Art Chewy, Akina Hina, Lethandralis, Dawn Robin, Alora, Persephone Black, Crafty Bonkers, Lady D, Books Love for Music, Love the XC, Cecilia, Delaney, Lily, Thrill, Persephone Forest, Oracle of BS, Alexis, A Mole in Disguise, Sammy, Transpanda, Shay Dari, Xavier, Cue the Cats, Alpaca Avalanche, Philip Demeron, Steph, Ash, Chris Vickman, Mark, Icy, Sam Helmbor, Found the Moon, Jay, Cats Lane, Late Nighty Vibes, Demax Anxiety, Diana, Jam, Walter Cromerix, Pajamas, Jesse, Ethereal Viking, Wibbles, Jazz, Lindsay, Emily, Vic, Lee, Avacyn, Iris Evan, Amara Keen, Starfire, Alyssa, Josie Mosa, Paige Dillon, Pluto, Rin Nexter, Faith, Beetle, Lost Bastard, Bo, Nex, Ramon, Flitzkin, L, Jason Damien, Goober Ghost, Liam Brewer, Ethan Panda, Alex Snazzle, Pai Chan 13, Asta Sarah, Lone Wolf, Hades, Rowan the Hunter, Isabel Longson Palmer, Girl of the Pines, Rio Chronograph, Shelves, Doll Extreme, Mary, B, George Wise, True Starshine, Capo Cops, SH, Seven, Ophelia, Little Captain Soccer 237, Peyton Gan, Lieutenant Leo, Delith, Incognita, Zilcova Salts, Just Here, Phoenix Feather, Tizzy Fowl, Lewin, Tea Time, Ace of Hearts, Feral 123, Victoria Ward, Bluest Jellyfish, Sister of War, Luna, Pretty Demon Kitty, Not Morkin, Jenny, Shannon Reynolds, Julia, Zed is Very Tired, Gabrielle Simpkins, Charlie, Cecilia Vuderick, Jay, Sly Salad, Astarian's Pet, 7N, Chitty Blue, Aquila, Max Little Spoons, J. Aries, Escher, Ace, Delirious, Raven G, L.A.B., Cap Dominic, Lavender Kismet, Pamsey, Sonny, T.R. Backus, Jordan Ratliff, Rowan Your Belt, Julie Birdsley, Mickey, Miles, Fane, David Moser, Not Butter, Sora 129, Vanny, L, Void Fox, Chinoa Chisai, 236, and Savvy Goes. And a thank you to my familiars, Solidaria, Kit, Just That, Jay Wood, Vanessa OJ, Spatial Oddities, Alicia C, Belle, Jerome McRae, I Wanna Eat, and Kiara McGuire.